Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. So I have with me another reveal for the uh, kids Christmas Happy Meal Swap. This one is from um, my daughter, Ellie. And um, I decided to do a video for each of my daughters. I was going to just do them all together, but none of their boxes are the same. So I kind of felt like I would either have a really long video or I wouldn't be doing them justice on what they made. So this is Eleanor's boxes. Um, and so um, this is the outside. I'm going to do one and then we'll go over the other one. So I'm going to start with this one. This was was intended to be more like boyish um, because most of their crafting is very, very girly. So I... I told them that they needed to do one that was okay if it wasn't received by a girl. <clears throat> Anyways, so this is her box. Um, and she put this little monster truck. It has a Christmas tree in the back. And then there's this Christmas village on the paper. It has all these jemmies on the outside. And then inside um let me take everything out and i only have packaged it okay everything is out um, let me get a closer look for you guys okay let's put this to the side and okay so we'll start with this because it's open um so we have some shred here and then um she made this, it's like a gingerbread house, but it's non-traditional colors. And then her fry box has this cute little deer on the back. I think it came out really cute. And then um, she has these shakers. I assembled the shakers for them and then they um, added the decorations and hat and scarf and all of that. Um, so these are her to snowmen come on and then um, there's two two uh, gingerbread men <laughs> I lost my words for a second sorry and then and I don't know if you guys realize but th they also made their own sequins mix and hers, she went with this um, white Christmas theme for the other one. So her mix, I told them, I'm only helping you guys make one mix each. Otherwise, we're going to have all these leftover sequins. So she decided to go with a mix that would match her white Christmas theme. And, you know, it still matches with the other theme. It's just... Anyways. Okay, so that's that and then um, let's do this one because I tied this one and it might be fun to open so this one um, she has this like star piece back here in like a sweater print and then uh, she had this little s snow globe she had gotten the die cuts from a previous swap and then she put it together so that's why it's pink even though it's for a boy um, and then she has this Christmas paper with a bunch of different holiday sentiments, happy holidays, or oh, what fun, holly jolly, and it looks like it has some gold glitter, um, pieces in there, but they also decorated their own little snow globes on this, so I think she did a really good job. Okay, and then in here, I can't get it all the way open because... Um, what I did is I traced a, ours is actually cheating, it's not a burger box, it's a nugget box because that's what we normally get at, um, McDonald's, so I just kept one of the boxes that wasn't like that greasy <laughs> and traced it onto some, like, a heavier type of box, like a chipboard type of box, and then cut them out and then cut out the, um, papers and glued them on for them so she has a bunch of different foam stickers in here that um 
whoever can use. And then inside she has made some, um, she has added some die cuts, which are monster trucks with, um, Christmas trees in the back. And, yeah. Um, the box that we used, I didn't really think ahead. Well, I, I guess I did kind of think ahead. I didn't want you to be able to see, like, the box printed. Um, so we painted the initial piece. This is a one-piece die. So I just cut them out so that they would be different colors or whatever. But anyways, I cut this out of the box and then I painted the box with, um, nail polish, <laughs> nail polish, and then, um, these pieces got added on, on top. And so, um, I think they're cute, they're festive, but they're not, like, too girly, which, um, is what they normally lean towards. So I'll put that back in here. And... Okay, got that back in the box. And then, um, last she has her little milk carton. Well, I guess not last. Um, she has this little milk carton. Um, and I wonder what flavor this is, because it's blue. Maybe it's just regular milk, 1%. Um, anyways, she... I had, um, drawn these, like, a long time ago, just as doodles. And I kind of liked how they came out, so I had, um... Like, I had fussy cut them and everything, and I just had them um, stashed somewhere. And I asked her, like, do you want to use these in your swap? And she said yes. So I guess she decided to put it on this little milk carton. And then um, we used some uh, plastic lace or whatever it's called um, to close this and just a little bead here. But I think it looks really cute. Um, so let me open it up and then we'll see what she made inside. Okay, so um, here is what she made inside. Obviously, I helped them. Well, I found a YouTube tutorial for them to follow. And then um, the YouTube tutorial had them put these little um, sticks inside so that it stays in its shape. Um, and we didn't have any brown beads, so we did what we could with what we had. And I think it turned out really adorable. They each picked what colors they were going to do and actually laced this all together. I helped them tie the knots, but they basically did all of this. And I think it turned out really cute. But they made this for their um, recipient. And uh, yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay, so then... Um, this is last. This was not... So, I think I forgot to go over the requirements in this video, but um, the kids were supposed to... It was a make to, get to, and some of the participants, since they were in the same household, they just sent in um, two for the household. They sent as a group. Um, my girls actually did do their own, like, pair to submit, so... That's why I'm doing two separate videos. But anyways, they were supposed to send, um, uh, each swap was a Happy Meal box, a fry box, a burger box. What you put in the boxes was up to you. Um, a store-bought goodie and a, a, uh, sweet treat. Um, and then this is not part of the requirements, but I just thought it would be fun for them, so... I obviously cut and sewed these books, but then they stuck in a bunch of stuff and decided where to, like, tuck things in. Um, so it's kind of like a little, like, December daily, but it's more like a 12 days of Christmas December daily, so it's not, like, the full month. But anyways, this is her cover. It matches the box. And then, um, it's obviously all with the same collection. This, is this a spot? Okay, no, she glued that down. Um, so this is a spot, and then that closes, and then in here, I think she has some little colored ephemera that I had, like, sitting around, and so I gave it to her, and she has put that in there, um, and sent some for her partner, I think. And then this is a tuck spot, 
she even like told me like where to stick things so a lot of this is their design with just a little bit of help and then she's got a tuck spot there um, here's another little pocket but there's no like tag or anything in there and then I think this is just glued down it says stay cozy she's got a little pocket here um, she's got a pocket behind here and it looks like she stuck a little star and then this is a penguin this is an actual page but the head is a pocket and then in here she's got a um, little pocket she's got a reindeer up here I don't think that's a tuck spot I think it's just glued down and then she included this little tag from stuff that I told her she could use it says peace or actually I want to say either them or I received this in a past swap and then they decided that it would be good in there so this is here um, another pocket and a cut apart stay merry and then I think this is a band, so somebody could put something in there. Oops, did I just unglue that? Hopefully I didn't. I think I skipped a page, though. Okay, hold on. Um, Alright, so there's this page, and then there's this page. And he's just attached like that. Um, and then there's this. That's a little belly band. This is a pocket. She put a Merry Christmas piece of paper, and then... That is the book. Um, so yeah, hopefully her participant will like that. And then let me um, take out her sweet tree and her goodie. Alright, so um, we found these little, they're like, I feel like they're almost like stress toys, but they're very squishy. And... Um, I should probably mention, although I think most of you already know, um, my daughters are twins, so that's why I keep saying we. Um, but this is what they decided to send as their store-bought goodie and sweet treat. And, um, yeah, so let me grab Eleanor's other swap, and we'll get through that real quick. Alright, so this is um, Eleanor's next swap. And... Okay. Oh, I guess I should go over it in more detail, huh? Okay, so on the front, she did this ruffle thing here. And then, um, glued a bow here. Added some little snowflakes. Um, and she's going for a white Christmas theme. She put this little cute house. This, um, gingerbread tree here. And then more ribbon down here. And then, I don't know if she did anything on the back. Oh, she added a little piece of ribbon on the back, and then the rest is just, um, like paper. But I think it's cute. Um, okay, and then this is her burger box, and she used some snowflake paper and then added a snowflake, but I don't know if you can really see it. <laughs> And then there's some ribbon on the top. Um, okay, inside she made all these little bows. I think there's like six of them. But they came out pretty good. I helped her like to glue the little like pieces of the bow in. So I gave her the three different layers of her bow and then the tails. And she glued them all together. And including this little tie thing. So I think she did, like, really a good job. <laughs> She's only 10. So she has all of that and then some shred inside to make it look, like, fun or whatever. But that's her little burger box. Nugget box. <laughs> and then, okay, these are her fries. She's got another cute little house on here in the front. And then it looks like it just has presents all the way around. And then in here, she also has some shakers, and um, like I said, she was going for a white Christmas theme. So these are her little snowmen for that. And uh, these actually have pattern paper, and the 
back. I don't know if you can tell. I think they came out really cute. And then um, her little gingerbreads. All right, let me put these back in here. Okay, so um, I just undid her milk carton, so I wouldn't have to do it on camera. But this is her milk carton, and she added this little bow thing with a snowflake, and then it looks like her paper has ornaments on it, and then this little candy on the front. And then um, inside she has made a little Christmas tree so we did not have white beads unfortunately so this kind of messed up her theme but she made a pink Christmas tree um, her sister would like me to note that um, she copied her because she had the idea of a pink Christmas tree first anyways um, and yeah I think it turned out really cute Alright, so her... Oh, I forgot the shred. Okay, so, um... Alright, and then she also did a little flip book for this one. They did flip books for all of them, so... Um, this one, I believe this front thing is a pocket. Let me see if I have something here to show you pockets. Oh, come on. Okay, so in here is a pocket um, but it says warm and cozy has this nice stripe on it um, looks like this is a pocket here and she's got a couple tags in there these are from the collection that she used or I mean paper pad and then um, in here she has another little pocket and then uh, the penguin is this a pocket no, maybe? Yes, it is a pocket right here in the head. So whoever gets this, there's a pocket there. Which actually, in a second, maybe I'll just stick this back in there. But there's these pages. Oh, okay. This one opens this way. And so she has another one of those um, random snowmen <laughs> that I had in my stash. Um, she has this little cute house that somebody might use for something and then that closes back in and then she shared some of those um, colored stamped images I want to say I think these are greeting farm but if they're not greeting farm they're mama elephant I think they're greeting farm though maybe anyways there's another little pocket here and a tag and then, uh, oh, there's a little bear note thingy in there, and then a tag pocket, and then this is like a little flap, but it's made from part of a tag and then part of the page. And then, um, just a little page there, another pocket with a tag, this one is just a plain page, and then she glued all of these um these were in the I want to say in the tag sheet um so they're cut out and then she glued them all to this little piece that was here because I sewed it like we tried to use pages that like she had already used for stuff like if she had large um scrap pieces for the book pages um, so this one was like, we barely had enough for one page, but it wasn't enough for like a two page. And so she glued all of these in there, um, because we didn't know what to do with them anyways, so. I think it's cute. And that's her book. And then for her, um. Okay, so then, um. This is her little goodie thing, um. And I found her, uh, her sweet treat is the same as the other one. And I'll probably just have to wrap this and put it outside of their boxes because it's not going to fit. But, 
yeah, that's Ellie's swap. Um, she did a great job, and I'm very proud of her, and she's very excited to get her return swap. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.